Since the very beginning, blockchains have been the core technology that makes cryptocurrencies possible. A decentralized, shared database that was popularized by the world's first cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. Like any great technology however, it evolves over time, hopefully for the better. When Ethereum was introduced in 2013, it sought to take blockchain technology to the next level by introducing decentralized applications, better known as dApps. In today's video, we're breaking down everything you need to know about this revolutionary technology. Welcome to Crypto Sketch 101. We're the number one go-to spot for all things crypto, and we're glad you've stopped by. If you love cryptos as much as we do, please give this video a like, and be sure to subscribe to our channel. In today's video, we're breaking down everything you need to know about decentralized applications. We'll examine what they are, their pros and cons, and even take a look at a few examples. There's a lot to cover, so let's get into it. Decentralized applications, or dApps, are blockchain-based applications. While they very much have the look and feel of traditional centralized apps, it's their back-end that truly differentiates them from the centralized apps that we are all familiar with. Instead of running on a centralized server, dApps have code that runs on a distributed computer network and typically exhibit a number of characteristics. Firstly, they are open source. This means that the source code is publicly available for viewing. This is in deep contrast to centralized apps such as Facebook and Twitter that do not make their source code publicly available. Any changes to DAP source codes must be approved by the majority of its users. Secondly, there is typically some sort of incentivization. Because the app is based on a decentralized blockchain, record validators are typically rewarded for their work in the form of coins or tokens. And thirdly, there must be a consensus method, whether it be proof-of-work or proof-of-stake, that generates tokens. When compared to centralized apps, dApps have both benefits, as well as drawbacks. Let's take a look at both, beginning with the benefits. Number 1. Privacy. One of the most significant advantages of decentralized applications is their capacity to protect user privacy. Users are not required to give out personal information in order to enjoy its features. Instead, smart contracts are used by dApps to conduct transactions between two anonymous parties. Security is another benefit when it comes to dApps. Because of their use of blockchain technology, decentralized apps avoid the single point of failure that can be associated with centralized servers. Instead, consensus mechanisms are used and secure the network from malicious attacks. Blockchains are also immutable, preventing data on them from being manipulated or corrupted. Number 3. Their Open Nature As previously mentioned, dApps are open source. This in itself brings two benefits. On the user side, because decentralized apps are not controlled by a central authority, restrictions and censorship are essentially eliminated. On the developer side, because dApps are open source, programmers can build on top of each other's work. This encourages innovation and leads to the development of new applications and services. Number 4. Zero Downtime In a centralized system, if a server goes down, it can render an app unusable. This is what is meant by a single point of failure. With decentralized apps, a number of nodes or even the majority of nodes could fail and not impact the dApps' ability to remain operable. This also prevents malicious activities such as denial-of-service attacks. On the flip side, dApps do have a few drawbacks. Speed is one of these. Although a number of projects have been developed to address the speed and scalability of blockchain networks, nevertheless it remains a problem. Most blockchain networks today struggle to keep up with large volumes of transaction data, leading to network congestion. When networks become congested, it leads to another issue. That issue is cost. In order to process transactions on a blockchain network, fees must be paid. As network activity increases, so do those fees. Depending on the amount of activity, fees can begin to rise into the thousands of dollars. Ethereum, the world's most popular dApp blockchain, has continued to experience problems in this regard. Although it is in the process of making upgrades to address these issues, nevertheless it continues to be a problem. Additional issues include user experience and maintenance. Because the backend differs so greatly from centralized apps, 
developers may find it difficult to create user-friendly applications. Maintenance is also an issue as any fixes require the consensus of users on these blockchain-based networks. There are many use cases for decentralized apps in the real world. Here's a look at a few. Without question, gaming is perhaps one of the most popular uses for dApps. There are many different gaming dApps out there that encompass everything from collectibles to virtual reality spaces such as the metaverse. Social media is another area that can benefit greatly from dApps. Finance is another area. In the centralized world, banks act as middlemen, facilitating transactions between buyers and sellers or lenders and borrowers. For such services, they are usually paid a fee. DApps eliminate intermediaries, allowing people to conduct business directly with each other in a peer-to-peer -peer environment. By eliminating the middlemen, the fees associated with them are also eliminated. This concept is better known as decentralized finance or DeFi. And finally, decentralized autonomous organizations or DAOs. DAOs, like DApps, operate without a central authority figure. There are many different types of DAOs that encompass everything from media, to philanthropy, to protocol DAOs. Let's take a look at some specific DAPs and what they do. Perhaps one of the most popular gaming DAPs that comes to mind is CryptoKitties. Launched in 2017, CryptoKitties is a digital collectibles game that became so popular when it launched on the Ethereum network, that congestion quickly built and essentially brought the network to a standstill. With CryptoKitties, players acquire digital cats that grow over time and become more valuable if raised properly. If there is a buyer that is willing to pay for it, it can be sold at any time. Decentraland is another popular gaming dApp. With Decentraland, players navigate a virtual world known as the Metaverse. In the Metaverse, players can buy and sell virtual land, wearables, and avatars. Each plot of land in Decentraland is an NFT, making them one of a kind. Like Decentraland, Axie Infinity is an NFT-based blockchain game. In Axie Infinity, users buy, sell, and trade monsters with specific traits known as Axies. With Axies, players can battle other players and earn rewards. Aside from gaming, dApps have been developed for use as exchanges. PancakeSwap and Uniswap are what are known as decentralized exchanges. They are peer-to-peer -peer exchanges where transactions occur directly between traders without the use of an intermediary. Although at times liquidity can be a challenge, they can be regarded as more secure than centralized exchanges which are a frequent target of hackers. Steemit is a blogging platform that is looking to take social media to the blockchain. With Steemit, users can reward content creators with Steam, the platform's native token. Users can also get curation rewards for finding content that is then upvoted by other users. With regards to business processes, VeChain is a blockchain-based platform that seeks to enhance supply chain management through the use of distributed ledger technology. And finally, MakerDAO. MakerDAO is a popular peer-to-peer -peer decentralized autonomous organization on the Ethereum network that allows people to lend and borrow using cryptocurrencies. This process is controlled by smart contracts. And that's all that we have for today's video. We hope you got a good understanding of decentralized applications, their many different uses, and got a clear look at some examples already making an impact in the crypto world. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for joining and we'll catch you in the next video.